Welcome everyone, this is Zozo Stockwatch, and I'm here today to talk to you about ZozoStockwatch.com. Yep, ZozoStockwatch.com, the trading room is going to open on September 1st, and uh, it's uh, August 28th, Monday, and the room is going to open up September 1st, Friday of this week. So, um, getting a lot of good feedback, uh, we have people joining. Uh, that want to be in the room and uh, I've got a lot of good feedback on Twitter stock twits saying um, you know Zozo it's about time you do YouTube videos you help people out on Twitter stock twits uh, you know you've been one of the in the top 15 most helpful traders on Twitter etc so you know uh, I, we think you can help more people if you open up a room they come to you the room is going to be an Omnovia room so I think that's going to be a big help because we can have screen sharing and, um, you know, I can uh, give you information and educate you um, each day. OK, there'll be education and we'll go over trades and uh, there'll be level alerts given uh, technical alerts given to you so that uh, you can, uh, you know, make some trades and make some money. Um, so the first thing you see that I've written here is when I changed my mindset to trading is a business, not gambling and treated it like a job, my trading improved drastically. So basically, you know, what does that mean? Right? Well, you know, in the dot com era, you just threw money at stocks and they moved up and that was great for a little while, but all good things come to an end. And that was my problem. I was treating it like gambling in the beginning when I first started trading, you know, in the, in the, uh, you know, in the nineties. And uh, you would throw money at like Dell Computer or some of the other, you know, big stocks, Microsoft, Intel, and, you know, they would move up uh, 10, 9, 10, 11 dollars. And, um, you know, we really, I didn't even look at charts, really. I didn't even know what they were. And I would just buy it and the stock would move up. Well, that all came to an end. And then we had to really start figuring it out. So, um, you know, that was kind of the gambling mentality, playing earnings before they happened. Um, and, uh, that you're never going to last too long when you're doing treating this like gambling you know when you're just throwing money anywhere at any stock at any time of the day um, you know and not having a business not having a process not having a purpose not being at your desk on time for the stock market when it opens and doing a little bit of research before the market opens uh, having an area where you trade and not like uh, you know in a room full of people trading and being distracted you know so you're gonna have to treat this like a job you're gonna have to have a set time a set area where you go to your uh, trading desk or area in a room part of your apartment uh, part of your home a basement a bedroom wherever it may be but you need to have a cert, uh, a central location where you do your trading from and it will improve your trading and just the routine gets you in the mindset for trading that day and your trading will improve drastically. And at ZozoStockWatch.com, you know, we hope to help you with your trading, educate you, give you good ideas for each day so you can focus in on some good trading stocks for that day. Now, this is going to be a day trading room and a swing trading room. OK, I will give out swing trades and day trades. The swing trades mostly will be on my private Twitter feed, ZozoStock1. And that uh, will be given to you when you sign up. Um, now, discipline focused trading. What do we mean by that? Discipline focused trading means that we have a process that we don't let our egos get in the way, that we're focused on that trade, um, that we, uh, if that stock goes against us, okay, which stocks will go against you? You know, um, Mark Douglas said, you know, anything can happen no matter what the setup is, it could be the perfect time of day and you could be uh you know in the perfect stock at this market's moving up or the market's moving down you could be in a short or a long and that stock and you think you have the best entry and that stock you think is going to move up or move down the way you want and it just doesn't happen so when that happens we have to be prepared for that we have to know what our loss on this play will be and we have to adhere to that you can't let any one trade go against you too long too too much and um, you know uh, hurt your account okay so you have to be disciplined focused and you have to realize you know you are gonna lose on trades they're not all gonna work I wish they did uh, but they're not okay so um, keep that in mind stay disciplined stay focused keep your egos in check all right if a stock goes against you 
uh, adding on losing trades and adding again and adding again is definitely not the way to go I can tell you personally I used to do that and uh, most of the time it does not work yes some stocks eventually do bounce back but a lot of times you uh, build up so much mental anguish and you destroy your account that it's not worth it so it's Zozo stock watch we're gonna try to make you a better trader and keep you focused and um, so you don't do that all right keep your egos in track check have uh, be pro be in have a process and keep that mindset to trading is a business not gambling games are won by the players who are focused on the field not by those that are always looking to the scoreboard don't be obsessed with your P&L during the day okay so this is kind of like a, a sports um, quote I guess but um, you know it's it's uh, also uh, fo focused towards the stock market. And, um, you know, games are won by the players who focus on the field. So you have to focus on what you're trading. You have to focus on the chart that you're trading. Um, don't always be looking at your P&L constantly because um, I can tell you right now, if you're looking at your uh, P&L all the time, um, you know, you're going to get yourself into a world of hurt. All right. It's it's nice when it goes up, but when it's going against you, it's going to set those emotions in gear and um, you're going to, you know, make mistakes, revenge trades and things like that. So keep the focus on the chart, the level two, the chart that you're trading, the stock that you're trading. And your goal is to have consistent green days. Don't focus on money. Doesn't matter the amount. Build confidence and a skill set. OK, so have consistent green days. Don't focus on the money, especially if you're a new trader, okay? A lot of times, you know, you see these pictures of the Lamborghinis trading from, you know, the pool, trading uh, from the ocean. And let me tell you something, you know, that's uh, great. Uh, hopefully, we all can attain that. But I trade for a living. I trade to feed my family. Yes, my uh, wife works, but uh, I also... Um, you know help out and supporting and uh, so you know that's the pictures I keep on my desk my children my wife I'm doing this for my family um, and it's the best job in the world you know I mean I get to sit here at a desk I have no boss I am my boss sometimes that's hard when you're your own boss because uh, you have nobody you know looking over your shoulder so you have to be you know both you have to look over your shoulder and make sure you're making good trades and good decisions and that takes time but hopefully it's those are uh, stockwatch.com we can move that process along faster for you okay all right now everybody seen, has seen this 252 trading days per year and uh, you know if you make $200 a day equals 50k 400 day 100k a year a thousand um, 250k 4,000 a day 1 million etc the thing I want you to get out of this is, you know, slow and steady consistency is the key. All right. So where do I fit in in this? I average I'm in this range right here, 400 to a thousand. I don't like to make big bets. I like to, uh, you know, I don't want to white knuckle trades. OK, so I like to be in this range, 400 to a thousand per day. And and uh, if I maintain that throughout the year, I'm very happy. OK, um, if I winning uh, most days, I'm green. I'm very happy with that. Um, try to stay consistent. If you're a new trader, a brand new trader, if you make twenty five dollars a day, fifty dollars a day, whatever it may be, if you have green days you know three days out of five that's all excellent you're on the right path okay you're and your first goal is to get to fifty dollars a day then a hundred dollars a day then two hundred dollars a day all right don't uh don't be um you know overwhelmed by twitter where these guys come out and say oh you know i made in 41 seconds i think i watched the video the other day and the guy said uh, he made uh, i don't know sixteen hundred dollars in 41 seconds so the minute the market opened up the second the market opened up this guy was taking a big trade and he made sixteen hundred dollars well you know what that's great for that trade but that doesn't happen all the time and i would assure you that when you take that opening candle on most trades when the market opens it's going to go against you because the market is basically whipsawing a lot of people in the first couple of minutes so usually what i do is i give it about five minutes you know you know three to five minutes let things settle out a little bit i don't want to be in on that opening candle i would rather it pull back and then i'll take a trade 
So you have to be aware of that. That's one of the mistakes traders make. You know, they're trying to make that big money in the first few seconds. And I think the the person that came out with this video, it was on Friday. And I happened to trade PSTG and I traded it over, I think it was 1365. And that thing ran up all day. But I didn't take my first trade Friday till like quarter um, quarter to 10, so 945. This guy took his first trade in the first 41 second. And all power to that person okay if they, but i don't think you know i've never seen them trade like that all of a sudden now they were promoting that and i think that's very dangerous you know just because something happens once you don't go running out and making a video on it and uh you know saying okay now this is how you trade you know it's very dangerous so you want consistent profits okay you want you don't want to be white knuckling trades all right you want to take trades when they make sense to you the chart sets up and uh, you feel that, you know, you know where your stop loss is and, uh, you know, you have a good eye of the chart and the level two and um, that will help you in your trading. So new traders, you want to end up being in this $200 a day, $50 a day range and uh, traders with experience, you know, we want to be in this 400 to a thousand uh, per day. And that's, you know, very lucrative and, um, you know, it really helps uh, pay the bills as they say, right? All right, next up we have discipline traders trade a defined trading plan trade based uh, emotional traders trade based on emotions right oh i gotta get oh that stock is moving up i gotta get in it the first candle let me jump right in that that's you always hear that fear of missing out right trade based on emotions and then they get killed discipline traders manage risk the more emotional traders the more confident they are the bigger the trade all right so let's talk about that for a second you always see traders you know as your confidence improves you know take a bigger trade take a bigger trade increase your share size that's the way to do it well that's not the way to do it find a share size that is consistent and gives you confidence to be in and make money and make money on a consistent basis you don't always have to increase your share size now i mean if you're trading with you know five shares 20 shares yes you want to start getting up into you know 100 200 300 shares but you don't want to start trading i've never traded you know uh 10, shares and all this kind of cockamamie stuff that you see on twitter it that's just crazy okay so be careful with that uh, you enter a disciplined trader enters based on a setup uh, emotional traders enter based on greed exit a trade when wrong disciplined traders exit a trade when wrong hold a losing trade to prove they are right this is where your ego gets in trade based on price action trade based on their opinions okay I never go into a trade uh, you know well you know the this uh, P and L or the PE ratio. No, I'm ba I'm trading, especially during the day. I'm trading off of the chart. Um, I do homework. Discipline traders do homework. That means you look at charts. Uh, emotional traders believe they are special. Discipline traders. Uh, my only goal is to make money. I don't care if I'm, you know, I'm not out to, uh, you know, set the world on fire. Fire. I just want to make a living. Uh, these emotional traders, they want to prove something to someone uh, you know I keep my losses to a limit okay and um, you know move on to the next trade because I play the proper share size position size uh, new traders emotional traders blame someone after they lose a trade and remember every trade you take is your trade all right so you have to anytime you take a trade no matter if you're in a chat room Twitter whatever um, if you get idea generation it's your if you take the trade you have to claim that trade uh, tr I trade with a focus and calm right every trade I go in I'm pretty calm on every trade because my position size is right trade with stress and emotion um, emotional traders have huge swings and moods yeah, I can attest to that. Okay, um, I was definitely an emotional trader when I first started out. Uh, over celebrate wins, get really depressed over losses. Uh, now I'd say I'm pretty much have a steady state of mind. Uh, not one trade means that much, and I'm sorry this is in the way, but um, so you know, not one trade means that much. All right, so you know that's my mentality, and that's the mentality at ZozoStockWatch.com that I'm going to try to get through to you. All right, here's some trading tips uh, from me. Uh, have a 
uh, max loss per trade, have a max loss per day. All right, so what does that mean, have a max loss per trade? On each trade, you should know where your stop is, how much you're willing to lose on that trade. For each day, you should be, you should know what your daily limit in losses are, whether it be 300, 500, 100, whatever that may be, you have to have that in mind and write it on a piece of paper, put it on a sticky note, um, have it there in front of your first, in front of your face. Never turn a winning trade into a losing trade. Uh, I made a video a few weeks back saying, you know, sell on the way up. A lot of traders don't do this. The stock moves up in their favor and they don't sell. They don't take money off the table. So when you have a winning trade, sell into the gains, all right? Take the money. Don't let it become a losing trade. Take that money, all right? Never turn a winning day into a losing day. You know, it's okay. You know, the good thing about day trading is, or, you know, you can start at, you know, 930 or you start at eight o'clock in the morning. You get those first few trades in and um, you can be done trading by like 11 o'clock and you have a winning day. Just walk away. Go do something else. Or you can hang on in the room, but turn down your, turn off your platform. Okay. If you have a winning day and you made your goal like three to 500 bucks, that's good money. You sat on your ass for two hours. All right. Pushing buttons. Keep it in perspective and walk away. Don't turn that day into a losing day. Wall Street wants you to trade in the afternoon, a churn to churn your account. Don't do that. All right. Play the, play the opening, play, you know, the uh, 10 o'clock, 9.30, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. And then after that, you know, you notice the market will start to slow down. So keep your gains. If you do one, two, and three, your trading results will improve. Do not have a daily goal. Your goal is to trade well each day. Do not look at your P&L. Trade on the technicals on the chart. All right. So I think if you do one, two and three, you will have drastically better results with your trading. All right. So here's some chart info for you. The chart indicators for my five minute chart. I use the eight EMA, the 20 EMA, the 60 EMA. And why the 60 EMA? The 60 EMA is equal to the 20 uh, EMA on a 15 minute chart if you do the math okay so I keep that on my five minute chart so I can keep track of where the 20 EMA is on a 15 minute chart um, and the reason this is because you can get a lot of good bounces on the 60 EMA I also keep the 200 uh, EMA the 200 SMA uh, I use VWAP which is I don't know if you can see it on these charts here the white dotted line so I keep VWAP on my chart and I also keep pivot points on my chart I find they're the closest thing to uh, Fibonacci's uh, the pivot points during the day without having to draw Fibonacci's um, during the day all right and um, each one you know can be used uh, in conjunction with the others uh, pivot points I know it looks like a busy chart and whatnot, but sometimes, you know, the 200 SMA or the 200 EMA becomes more important than, you know, the pivot points. So I like to keep them all on my chart. I'm used to it by now. And each one comes into play at certain times, you know, um, you know, maybe uh, pivot points will come, you know, a stock will move down to a, a support area on a pivot point and uh, the 200 SMA is also there. So, I, you know, for me, I find these things on the five minute and these are regular market hour charts, by the way. So I find that these are really good uh, indicators. I like the 60 EMA, like I said, because it's equal to the 20 EMA on a 15 minute chart. And uh, you can get resistance on a 15 minute 20 EMA or good support on a 15 minute 20 EMA. So that's why I like to keep that on my five minute chart. Uh, in case you don't know, I have a YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is Zozo Stockwatch. I mean, I've made a ton of videos there. And um, so you can go to my YouTube channel and you can go through all these videos if you want to get to know me better and uh, some of my thoughts and thinking. So, um, like I said, it's Zozo Stockwatch and it's Zozo Stockwatch on Twitter, Zozo Stockwatch uh, on Stock Twits. Um, and, and I have a lot of information on the uh, YouTube channel. All right, so Zozo Nation, the prepaid special is going to end August 31st. So that's coming up soon. Um, you know, you can get a monthly subscription for $74.25 uh, instead of $99 per month. And you're locked into this price. You get this price all the time. If you want to go the annual, um, that's the best deal on the annual. Um, it works out, I think. I forget what the exact price is on that. 
So for the annual, it comes out to be $62.50 per month. Okay, so that's the annual. And once you get this price, you're locked into that price and uh, it will never go up on you so um, you might want to take advantage of that and then the semi-annual uh, the six month is 412.50 and if you take 412.50 divided by six so that comes out to sixty eight dollars and seventy five cents so you can lock in that price of 412 every uh, six months on the semi-annual membership all right so now i'm going to show you what do you get for your membership and let's see you will be able to see uh the scans that i use okay um, i will do screen sharing of scans uh, you will be able to see my charts that I use. Um, also, you will get news in the room too, and the news will be uh, provided by Trade uh, Exchange. All right, so um, you have news, you'll have me, you ha I'll be making calls on the microphone, uh, you'll have my, my private Twitter feed, and I should bring that over to my private Twitter feed. And here it comes, it's Zozo Stockwatch. Um, and there's the private Twitter feed and there'll be charts and information on that feed okay and this is pretty much I use this for the swing trades all right I like to put the swing trades on my private feed so you'll have to give me a, a Twitter handle and then um, you know you ask to follow me and I'll follow you back and once you sign up uh, for the service uh, as far as if you want to get to know me better uh, trader mentality um, did a nice um, interview on me and uh, Michael DeRuzzo is my name and how I got the name Zoe is from my last name DeRuzzo Zoe and there it is um, I've been at the Great Stock Picks I was a moderator at Great Stock Picks for a long time uh, I've been the uh, moderator at the Trade Exchange for over two years I've run free chat rooms etc so you know I kind of have uh, you know experience running services and running chat rooms and being a moderator um, and you can read all about you know my thoughts and process here at uh, Trader Mentality and I'll put this link um, in the uh, description for you so I hope that helps you know come and join me uh, I think it's a good service uh, like I said people have been saying it's about time uh, you do so much for traders and you can do so much more if you had your own chat room trading room and uh, you know educating people and whatnot so you know don't hesitate pull a trigger um, you don't want to get these higher prices right let's get the deal good deals I feel uh, very reasonable and thank you so much for listening this has been Zozo Stockwatch of zozostockwatch.com and um, you have a very good day this is what the home page looks like and uh, thank you so much for listening to this video have a great day